Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sporty Mentality. You may know me as the Stranger Things guy, you may know me as the Fortnite guy, but little did you know I started making sports content before I made Stranger Things content or Fortnite content. And this is what I that that's what I wanted to do from like the beginning and then Fortnite kind of took off and then Stranger Things came around recently and TV shows and all that stuff. But here, honestly, I've been listening to sports content uh, sports podcasts recently like the last few days and I've been like learning how much or like remembering how much I used to love you know, being a nerd about basketball, being a nerd about football. So I'm, I'm kind of getting back into it. I want to make more YouTube videos over here just discussing topics like this today like about LeBron in Lakers and what's wrong with them, what they're going to need to do if they want to compete at the level that the Warriors just competed last night. So we're going to get into that. But before we do, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Make sure to uh, follow me on Twitch, my TikTok, all that good stuff, all in the description. And you can join my Discord as well. Um, but yeah, guys, let's, without further ado, Get into the discussion of what's wrong with the Lakers, what they're going to need to do, and who's even good on their team. So first things first is let's talk about LeBron, okay? LeBron honestly had an off night. If you guys didn't watch the game, he started off the game with like four turnovers, um, missed like five threes in a row. He started off 0 for 5 from 3, and he threw the ball to the defense like three or four times, just blatantly. Um, I, he was obviously a little rusty and all that stuff, but... As the game went on, he obviously warmed up a little bit, and he stat padded in the third and fourth, but that's just, you know, why wouldn't he? Uh, his stat line was great, 31-14-8, and eight, almost a triple-double to start it off. But he's 37 years old, ladies and gentlemen, and this man looked like he was playing like he was 27 at the, at the peak of his prime. He was running. There was one play where he ran in, like he ran from one, court, one side of the court to the other, just full speed ahead. Three Warriors just clobbering him. Probably should have been an and one. That's what Reggie Miller said on the broadcast. Said it, that should have been an and one. And just went up and laid it in. Like it was no problem at all. Full sprint, going up like a monster. And just like it, it's just insane to me how this guy is 37 years old running across these floors at 100 miles an hour at 37 years old, like he's been doing for the last 20 years, is still at the highest level. LeBron has not lost a step. And that's the most important thing that the Lakers need to consider right now. They have LeBron at MVP LeBron level right now, okay? And they're not going to have that for the next five years. Maybe they will. I don't know. He's, he's kind of a superhuman. But let's say they have it for this year, maybe a little bit of next year, okay? When he's 38. They need to consider that if they want LeBron to win them another chip, they're going to have to put pieces around LeBron that are worth a damn. Um, and AD is one of those pieces. He's worth a damn. AD was playing like defense player of the year for the first quarter that I watched. Um, and then he played well the rest of the rest of the uh, he, he, he looked like Anthony Davis in that game He looked at like Anthony Davis Russell Westbrook didn't even play bad Yeah, you're gonna see the air balls in the highlight reel and all that stuff But he, he did he made some you know, he made some bad plays here and there, here and there But he overall he played within the game. He didn't try to make it his own game He didn't try to be 2013 Russell Westbrook 2014 Russell Westbrook um, and I feel like that was very important. So AD LeBron and Russell are not bad by themselves. Everyone else on that team is wouldn't even be in the rotation in any other team in the league besides maybe the Detroit Pistons, the Hornets, and the bottom other teams, okay? They are so bad. It is not even funny, okay? Patrick Beverly missed like 100 threes. Every single shot he took, he missed. Every single one that I've seen Patrick Beverly shoot, he missed. Lonnie Walker couldn't even hit the backboard. I mean, this this is just it was horrible. Kendrick Nunn had had a had a good shot, if he, uh, one or two good shots. Uh, he's not bad. I like Kendrick Nunn as like an eight or nine man, but not a six man. Um, like, and like I don't I just don't understand like the the thought thought process of Rob Linka or whoever is in charge of the Lakers. Like, how are you gonna have LeBron James and then expect to pick up Lonnie Walker and Patrick Beverly and say, oh, this guy, this he can work with that at 37 years old. He can work with Lonnie Walker and Patrick Beverly. That'll give him a championship when we have a super team over here with Klay Thompson and Draymond Green, Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, and five other all-stars. Like, the Warriors' 10th man is better than the Lakers' 4th man. So the problem with the Lakers is they don't have a damn team outside of LeBron and Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. And the only way they're going to fix that is to make the Pacers trade. That's the only way they're going to do it. They have to make the Pacers trade. They have to trade for Buddy Heald Miles Turner. They, they got to do it. And if they don't do it, they will not see the playoffs. They might get into the play-in and maybe make a second, first, a first, second round. I don't know. But they will not get past that. 
It, it will not happen. Not with just LeBron and AD and Russell Westbrook, unless they start playing like Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and LeBron in, in 2014. That's the only way it's going to happen. But it's that's first of all, that's not going to happen. Second of all, it's just you cannot get that far with Lonnie Walker as your fourth man. That's not going to happen. He's not a bad player, but he's a ninth man. He's a ninth man at best. He's not a fo- he's not a starter. Lonnie Walker's not a starter in this league. Okay. I don't know. Sorry, I'm a little pissed off because I watched him. He was just so bad. Every single shot he took looked like me, dude. Looked like me out there, okay? I have a good shot. But in, in, in the NBA game, I'd probably hit a few shots like Lonnie Walker just did. It was bad. It was bad. Same with Patrick Beverly. He should not be – Patrick Beverly should not touch the ball on offense. He, you got him for one reason, one reason, only, only to get into the opponent's head and defend. That's it. Not to shoot th- four threes in the first quarter. That is not why you got Patrick Beverly, and that's not what he should be doing. That's not his role. Their backup center Gabriel is like a is like a slim like a slim gym. That guy is just like flopping around. Like he, he just got bodied by James Wiseman. Like it was nothing. So their backup center sucks. Um I know Thomas Bryant's hurt. When Thomas Bryant comes back, that's gonna be huge for them, I feel like. He's he's really good on offense. Defense wise, you know, it's a little iffy, but what I'm saying is, is the Lakers still have the superstars. They still have the best player in the league in LeBron James. In my opinion, he's the best player in the league still to this day. Top three, unarguably top three. Unarguably top five, okay? Arguably top three, very arguably top one, okay? You get what I'm saying. I'm a big LeBron fan, obviously. But my point is, they still have the superstar power, okay? Okay? All they got to do is make the Pacers trade. They make the Pacers trade. They have a good starting five. They have a good starting five. And then you have the role players. Then you have Lonnie Walker coming off the bench. Lonnie Walker coming off the bench makes sense. Not starting. Lonnie Walker in no scenario ever will be starting on a championship team. Okay? It's not going to happen. I don't know. He just played so bad that kind of pissed me off. But basically, the whole entire point of this video is that LeBron has not lost a step. AD is playing better than ever. And they need to take advantage of this opportunity by making a trade right now, getting LeBron the pieces he needs to work with. And they will win a title. Again, LeBron will get them a championship if they make the move. They got to make the move. They can't just sit here and be complacent with Russell Westbrook. It's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the Lakers. Let me know what you guys thought about the game last night. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I mean, they were like the Warriors are really good. I mean, the Warriors are just they're good, but the, the Lakers are just bad. Outside of those three top players, the Lakers are the worst team in the league. You take LeBron, AD, and Russell Westbrook off this team, they aren't even. They might go zero and eighty-two. I'm not even kidding when I say that. They might go zero and eighty-two if you take LeBron, AD, and Russell off this team. It might be like a KOT 4Q rebuild if you if you if you you know take LeBron AD and Russell off the team. If you take LeBron and AD off the team, I think they go twenty and sixty. You know what I'm saying? Like if I don't know, it's it's just so bad in the bench that they need to make changes. But um, if you guys enjoy this discussion video, let me know if you want me to do more of these. I'll, I'll be watching games. If if I if I analyze a game enough, I'll talk about it and talk about that team. What I think they need to do. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you have a great day, spend time with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.